Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. This is the first in the series of, uh, I can't take this anymore. You know, every day I, I see two, two, 300 emails. I see lots of things come across my desk. And when I start to see the number of things grouped together and coming across my desk that build upon the lies of the others, you know, I, I just, I have to say, wait a minute, let's stop this madness and, uh, you know, get back to the, the laws of physics here, please. Um, so look, let's take a look at this first photo. I, I've been seeing a lot of this. So look at the treatment. It looks like we have panels on the walls, front wall. We have panels on the side walls. We have panels in the corners. We have panels at the sidewall to ceiling intersection. We have some treatment in this room, okay? And then we have the speaker set up. So let's take a look at the next photo. We have even treatment on the sidewalls to manage the reflections, also to cover the glass. This is typical in a lot of rooms. You know, you've got sliding glass doors and Got a drape over it, although the drape's basically worthless. It's too thin. Uh, material that's not 24 to 28 ounces per square foot uh, in density, you know, never works for drapes. So you don't you don't really want to think about it in that way. All right, so let's let's go and look at another picture here and see what's going on. Okay, so here's some ceiling treatment. We have got an open area behind the couch. We have Treatment behind the couch. Okay. So, you know, this is more than average in terms of treatment. More of the sidewall at the corner. So, you know, extensive work has been done here. Extensive work has been done to do what? Create a more frequency response friendly environment. That's what we're trying to do because the room based on its dimensions, is not frequency response friendly. It's not friendly to the low end. It's not friendly to the middle and high frequencies. Reverb times are too high. Distances are too small. La, 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 it goes on and it goes on and it goes on. So we treat surface areas, large amounts of surface areas with large amounts of treatment. And you can see in this photo, that's exactly what's been done. But look in this next one. This is what you get for all that treatment and work? And the answer is yes. If the treatment is filled with building insulation. This is what I've been saying for years. Here is a great example why its rates and levels are not designed for music and voice. You'd be better with the response curve like this to not treat the room at all. Look at this. Look at the peaks at 35. Look at the dips at 45. They're huge swings, 15 dB swings. That means you're hearing too much and then nothing. <laughs> this is terrible. So stop this, please. Here's a great example of why building insulation doesn't work. All right. Now here's a room of the same size that we just finished with the same amount of treatment. Look at the difference. That's our first go around right out of the gate, right out of our data. So let's stop this, please. Don't use material types where their usage has been perverted. And that's what's been done here. You know, you take something that's designed for thermal conductivity and you use it for sound absorption. Even though there's heat involved in the process, it's not the same result. I really hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. 
We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.